We're used to seeing you smile. Are there a number of reasons for the grin to be a little bit bigger these days, today specifically? Uh, it's a good day for us. Uh, you know, good last two days. Excited to add a, another great player to our team and uh, good to see some familiar faces here. When you start to think about how he'll fit with your group, what comes to mind? Uh, I think anytime you add a top player, you know, in the world, that, 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 that will help your team, right? Talent wins games at the end of the day. So adding him will be really good. Uh, it's another guy that can, you know, score when needed. Uh, he's a really good facilitator. And he'll fit right in with our group. He plays the way we want to play. He's like fourth in, you know, transition points or transition field goal percentage. Yeah, transition field goal percentage. And, you know, we play in transition better than anybody. So uh, he'll be a, a really good addition to our group. At the same um, time, you do have to say goodbye to Bruce and Jordan. But Bruce specifically, how did he impact you this season? Yeah, we had a really good relationship. Uh, we, we still will maintain that. Um, you know, we talked yesterday on the phone for like 30 minutes after the trade. Um, but yeah, somebody I grew really close with in a short period of time. And uh, I think just been around a lot of great players and held me accountable when needed. And uh, just somebody that I can, you know, really call a brother that we were pretty close. So uh, sad to see him and Jordan go. Um, but I think they'll have, um, you know, good a good opportunity in Toronto. And we'll see them on Valentine's Day. So I already told Bruce we'll bust his ass on Valentine's Day. So uh, it's exciting. Hi, Reese, was you uh, involved in conversations, you know, about this trading to uh, maybe pass a word along about Pascal? Um, well, I mean, anytime, I, uh, you know, they've committed to me long term. So I think that there was definitely, you know, some dialogue between us if, if, if I felt that it would work. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think they're, me and Pascal obviously have a relationship. So I definitely was, you know, was uh, talked to about it for sure. And, uh, you know, I think it's a good opportunity for our team. Hi, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, my head is scheduled where I want to be, and um, whenever is the right time for me and the medical staff agrees, then you know, I'll be back. Is that surprising, given what maybe it felt like, what it looked like to be this far ahead? Uh, surprising? Yeah, I mean, in that moment, I think there's like a million uh, thoughts that run through your mind, but after we got the diagnosis in the morning, um, our medical staff had a pretty good idea of where I'd be, and I'm you know, right on schedule oh you know, in terms God. of what we thought internally. I mean, externally, it's easy to just say, oh, he'll be back after the road trip. But, um, you know, we thought that there was opportunity for me to come back maybe during this road trip. And so we'll see uh, what it looks like. And when you look about coming back here to SAC, I mean, it's one thing to see, you know, make a player make his return, but you're doing so in an area where you're leading, you know, votes in the West or in the East regards. I mean, could you even picture that type of impact so quickly for yourself? Uh, I mean, I think I dreamt of having that opportunity and being in this position and, uh, definitely been a whirlwind of the last few years, but that's the exciting part about the NBA and the exciting part of growing up and becoming an adult in the NBA. You don't really know, you know what to expect or you have dreams and of what you want to do, but you know, as time goes on, you, you realize that it's a possibility. And so it's cool to, to be able to do that. It's always cool to be here, see familiar faces and uh, yeah, just reminisce. My, uh, my family's in town. They want to Go drive by my old house, see what it looks like for some reason. So we're gonna do that later, but uh, just exciting to, to be back for sure. With the to go back to Pascal, I mean, obviously you, you played against him a bunch. You know him really well. I mean, what what do you like about his game? I mean, what what stands out to you about the, the way he can score, the way he can defend, the fact that he is a two-way player? Just just tell me more, just about what he does that, that stands out that, that you you know. Yeah, yeah, I think that you know he's able to to score. He's done everything in this league. He's won a championship, been an All NBA guy, been an All Star. He's been able to achieve those things. He's been around other great dudes, so I look forward to forming a relationship with him and forming a partnership on the floor. Him being able to to teach me things as well. You know, he's been around you know great guards in this league and seeing how they've been able to you know impact the game. And so I'm looking forward to to, to growing that partnership. And I think that there's things that we can both help each other with, and I think that we can flow off each other well. You know, he can bring the ball up and handle, and uh, I can move to be playing off the ball a little bit more with him on the floor. Um, and then I think just, you know, obviously the, the, there's the pick and roll capabilities, but I think just being able to get on transition off rebounds, either of us can bring the ball up. And like, I think he's a very underrated playmaker. He's having like six assists or something right now. Uh, it's top 10 for, for, for wings. So um, I'm looking forward to getting him here. And uh, I think it'll be, be really fun. I think we have this a defensive piece too. I mean, he's obviously a guy that gives you somebody with that kind of size that can defend some of the guys that have, that have hurt you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's no secret that uh, forwards have, uh, especially early in the year, had a kind of a feeding frenzy with us, him included. Like right. I think he had like 30 <laughs> something on us. And he, so uh, I think it's exciting to add add him. And anytime you get another wing, it helps. I mean, mm -hmm. this, at the end of the day, today's a wings league. You guys see the value that every wing in the NBA has when it comes mm -hmm. to trade talk or whatever. Everybody's fighting to get a long wing that can defend and knock mm -hmm. down threes. And, and well, he can do all that and more. So, um, you know, we've got a player that every team in the NBA wants. 
and um, I think it'd be really fun. You're obviously a guy who pays attention to this trade stuff in general, just as a, as a fan, as, as somebody who really cares about the NBA. I guess if if you weren't on this team, how would you look at this deal? Well, I, I, I've definitely got a lot of calls from people in NBA circles talking to me about it, excited to, uh, for me for the opportunity. I think that everybody sees that it's a very natural fit for us, and it, it's going to fit seamlessly with the way that we play. And um, I think everybody's talked about you know adding another guy to our team, like. You know, one of the guys. I think Pascal's a guy, so I'm mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited about that. Yeah, you, said, you, said, uh, you said what? You think that's your old house? Any place you're gonna go eat or anything where you gotta? I went to crew something. last night. Okay. Um, probably can go check out Fixins for lunch. Uh -oh. uh, that's a good spot. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, go see my crib. There's not really. I mean, Doko, a little Jumbo over there, maybe, but that's like a chain spot. But yeah, definitely, I'm gonna try to check out Fixins for lunch. Is it you? Not. I mean. If you don't play, I mean, is this one you were really looking forward to? Is it going to always be one you're looking forward to to make this thing really well? Well, yeah, I mean, I would love to, to play here um, because, you know, it's fun. It's they, There's friends over there and stuff like that, and I just want to play in any game. So, um, yeah, I definitely wanted to play in this game, but, you know, can't control everything. But, you know, we'll play them again, so it's, it's not that big of a deal. Your name been attached to a superstar status. How do you feel about that? Uh, that's for you guys to decide. Uh, it's not for us to decide as players, or I, I'm not really. I don't have any control over that. So that's that all runs with what fits in narratives. I just play basketball. Last feel, week we heard you'd be evaluated after the road trip. Then you practiced yesterday, and you could maybe even return this weekend. How did you get to this point so fast? Uh, well, I mean, I think publicly you say you reevaluate re after, but we reevaluate every day. <laughs> so uh, our, we have the best medical staff in the NBA. That's no secret to anybody who's ever been in, around our organization um, and they've done a great job of you know being on me to take care of my body and uh, helping me with treatment and stuff like that I've, you know I've spent a lot of time in the treatment room in the weight room all that stuff trying to get stronger um, be ready to go so um, yeah that's definitely the plan to get back by the end of the road trip and uh, we'll see what happens yeah for sure for sure don't gas him up though <laughs> Last year around this time, you had about 500,000 also votes. Now you currently have 2.7 million. You know, what, what's your thought on that, the process of what that goes into it? How does it feel to get that much love and support from the fans? Yeah, it's an unbelievable feeling. Uh, that's the coolest part about the NBA is, is the fans and the interactions we have with fans. The best part about where I'm at right now is going on the road and seeing my jersey on the road in random places. Like, that's that means the world to me. Like, that's so cool, especially where I come from. That's not a thing that can happen. So. Uh, the fans have been amazing. The love that I've, uh, that I and this team have received all year has been awesome. So we just want to keep rolling with that, and uh, to have that opportunity to represent the Pacers in the All Star game would mean the world to me. So uh, you know, hope, hope it's, it's looking like it's a pos it's a high possibility, but uh, you know, we'll see. What do you like at uh, fixing the oxtail, the catfish? Catfish, uh, man, I don't know. Every, all, all the above, the mac and cheese is good. Yeah, yeah I mean. Kool-Aid, like, come on, I ain't had Kool-Aid since I probably left here, so uh, I'm definitely going to order that, so. All good? Thanks, 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 Thank you. Obviously, it's been a while since we've been here, but what's just your perspective on how much this team has changed? Yeah, I mean, I think the new coach has, has helped a lot, and, um, you know, I think winning changes things. Like, Fox has been one of the best guards in the league, um, you know, over the past couple of years, and uh, Domas is a seamless, uh, seamless fit, so. And they got, they got really good guys that fit in the group well. I think Malik is, is a really, really good player. Keegan's a good draft pick. They've, they filled out the roster really well, so that's a lot to do with their success. All right, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Tyrese. Appreciate it.